We are on page 561, section 19.4. Turn to that in your book. Quickly, before we get going. Yeah. Yeah, I had to it's the rule. Yeah. You can, even if you miss, you gotta take the quiz. Okay. Um the uh the the phylums we've done so far, Drew, could you do me a favor? Could you take it in the lab for me? Drew, I have to love you. I don't know what you can do with but... And Drew, if you could go to the other side of the lab. <laughs> if you could go to the other side. <laughs> okay. Um, the phylums that we've done so far, again, were Kingdom Protista. This is just a little review from the last couple days. And if you don't have this all written down, it might be, I mean, it's all in your book, but it might be easier for you. If you uh, if you write it down, phylum ciliophora. Those are your ciliates. Can anyone give me an example of a ciliate? Yes. Uh, what is it? Hello. Uh, ciliates. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> paramecium. Like a paramecium. Oh. Phylum Sarcodina are your amoeboids. Can you give me an example of an amoeboid? An amoeba. An amoeba. An amoeba. Um, we, we looked at amoebas. Right. Phylum Apicomplexa. Sporozoans. Look forward. forward. Sporozoans. What are One of the famous sporozoans we studied causes a disease. Do you remember the name of the disease? Malaria. Measles. Malaria. Malaria, I mean. Most close, start with an M. Measles is not close to malaria. Ruin it for me. Phylum zoomastigena. Zoomastigena. Are zooflagellates? Are you just going to have, like, on the test, are you just going to have, like, phylum? Are you just going to have, like, psilocoria, and then you're going to have our, like, quiz today? Could be. Yeah. Are we going to have to know examples, too? I would know examples, yeah. Oh my God. Absolutely. Okay, so what is an example of a zoomomastigia? Yeah. Of a zooflagellate? Yeah. Uh, a trypanosome, the zooflagellate that causes African sleeping sickness. Nice. See, there's, there's a paragraph or several paragraphs in the book about each one of these phylums. We should memorize them better, so you should now you should have read them all and be able to give examples and know what these are like. Yes. What was the example for sporozoans? Um, I put causes in all areas. Yeah, it's um, um, okay. you can't recall the name. Plasmodium. <laughs> Plasmodium is the sporozoan that causes malaria. And all of these are protozoans. Are your protozoans? What does that mean, protozoans? Animal-like. Animal-like. Then you have your plant-like protists. Phylum Bacillaria phyta. Diatoms. Is that you? Those are your diatoms. Those are the ones with the silica shells. Just. What's an example of them? Phylum Pyrophyta. What's an example of diatoms? Diatoms are examples of diatoms. Oh, and dinoflagellates. I mean, there's lots of there's lots of species names, but. Hey, these are plant Phylum Pyrophyta. Dinoflagellates. Those are your dinoflagellates. What's an example for those? Dinoflagellates. Again, there are a lot of individual species names, but I'm not going to make you know them. Just know what a dinoflagellate is. It's what causes red tides. It, uh, it's got the two, two flagellas. Gani allax is an example, but I, I, don't, I don't expect you to know that. Would you call it a mutation of 
Like put it on the cuff. Is it a mutation of the dinoflagellate that makes it? An example of the dinoflagellate? Like, well, one, like type, red tie that one type of dinoflagellate causes red tie. Okay. There are some types of dinoflagellates that cause red tie. So all these are we're, we're in y'all's books, yeah. page 550, 561. Uh, I, 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 I believe that. Phylum Euglenophyta. Contains chloroplasts, photosynthesized, and heterotrophs. Euglenus. An example of a euglena is a euglena. A euglena are the little green things that swim around. We have them in the lab. They got the red eye spot. Good. Um, Chrysophyta. Okay. Could y'all stop talking amongst one another? It's yellow, green, or golden. Or golden. Yellow, green algae. Raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Golden brown algae. Yes, question, Sophie. I'll wait till you're done with this because it's tough. Okay. Phylum. Phyophyta. Are the brown algae? Or kelp. Or kelp. Kelp is kelp. an example of a brown algae. Kelp. I was in kelp and he Kelp is, is, a, is a brown algae. These long, those are the ones that form the forests. Rhodophyta. Nice. Rhodophyta are red algae. They're chlorophyta. Yeah, it's chlorophyta then. No, so the chlorophyta is no. Chlorophyta are green algae. Are those all the plant-like ones? All these are plant-like. Do they have a specific name, like protozoans or animal-like? Yes, these are called algae. Protozoans are animal-like protists. Algae are plant-like protists. So you glean those are algae, technically? Yes, because they can do photosynthesis. All right. I thought you said they're 13. No, we're not done yet. Aren't they amoeboids the one that... There's actually 14. There's three more. The amoeboids... Aren't those the ones that, like, circle that little thing? And, like, one of the little tiny ones got away. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was an amoeba. You Wait, can so watch them do it under the microscope. So now there's 14. Wait, 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 number Wait. one. Hey, uh, we didn't know all these accessories. Do we have to, like, yeah. all this exactly right? Or? It's multiple choice. You don't have to spell it at all, just choose the right one. Now, when you're writing your essay over these, you can write about... You don't have to write about all of these in your essay. You just write about some of them. You need 250 words talking about these different things, different groups of protists. That's what the essay over this chapter is. So pick your favorite ones, it doesn't matter which. <laughs> And talk about them, what they do. I mean, I like euglenas, and you can say they're green, uh, single cell, they have a flagella, they have a red eye spot, they swim towards the light, they do photosynthesis. That's euglenas. Diatoms are fun. They have the glass shells. They're, uh, they're hard, and they, they're using toothpaste and metal polishes. Um, dinoflagellates have two flagella. They have plates, uh, cellulose plates. They cause red tides. Anyway, you talk about enough of these until you have... Uh, 250 words in your essay. I just get to take in that case, I expect you to spell them right if you're talking about them. And what is the other essay? The other essay are the life cycles of the viruses. Remember the lytic cycle, the lysogenic cycle, no. from chapter 18. No. Can tomorrow, can we have that review during... Uh, uh, what's our uh, test? We're not going to be here Thursday. The test is Thursday. I'm not going to be here. Well, you're going to have to take it when you get back. Didn't we already remember that? I wasn't here. Okay. All right. Um, now, let's do the fungus like protists. Okay? 
This is on page 561. Now, the fungus-like protists are called uh, slime molds and water molds and mildew. Now, slime molds use spores to reproduce, and I'll show you how those spores work in just a second. They feed on decaying organic matter, that's dead stuff. They feed on dead stuff and absorb nutrients through their cell walls. So this is, we just put slime molds or is a name? Slime molds, I'll show you the phylum right here. Now, this type of slime mold is phylum Myxomycota. Myxomycota. Yes, you need to know all the slime. They're called acellular slime molds. Whenever you see the letter A in front of a word, acellular means not cellular. A means not. So atypical means not typical. Asexual means not sexual. So an acellular slime mold is one that's not cellular, and I'll show you why that is. A slime mold is looks like a big glute glob of jelly-like material that sits on a, on, a, on a log or something like that, something that's dead, and breaks it down. So it looks like this big glute here. We call it a plasmodium. And what will happen is coming up from the plasmodium, will be this yellow uh, thing that's shaped kind of like a club. And up at the top of it, spores are made. And the top of this bursts open, and the spores come out, and the spores will land somewhere. And if they land somewhere where it's wet, cells will germinate and crawl out of the spore, and the cells look like amoebas. Some of the cells look like amoebas, and some of the cells have flagellas. And the, uh, these flagellated cells and the amoeba-like cells will crawl together and form a new cell that then multiplies like crazy and forms a big group of cells. And this big group of cells loses their identity. It's like a bunch of amoebas, but the amoebas crawling together and becoming one big glob. One big single glob of cells with hundreds or thousands of nuclei. And they lose their individual cell membranes, so they're not like individual cells anymore. That's why they're called acellular. And we call this big glob of stuff a plasmodium. And I think I have video footage here of what they look like. It's plasmodium. Yeah, that accomplish here it is. Thing? What's that? Like, what, what did that accomplish for those cells? But it's like went from a slime mold to another type of cell back to slime mold, right? Uh, yeah, it's a form of sexual reproduction, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because these cells were created by meiosis, so there's variation there. Okay. And then they come together. Uh, that's kind of like having sex. So you ha introduce a lot of variation. So let's take a look at this plasmodium. But in time-lapse photography, the whole colony is moving and changing. Each cell of this protist has flagellum. This is, this is one of those, see the orange stuff moving across? It's moving across a, uh, a piece of wood here and spreading over it. That's the slime mold. This is sped up, highly sped up. Um, but it'll, it's decomposing and breaking down the, the body of the wood. And then there's another phylum, phylum Acrasiomycota. These are called cellular slime molds.
Cellular slime molds consist of individual cells. When they come together, you can see their cells, uh, the individual cell walls. It's the same sort of reproductive cycle as before, but if you look up close at this plasmodium, this big glob, you can see the individual cells. They still retain their cell membrane. And so this is another big glob of cells that crawls over rock, over uh, dead wood and that kind of thing and, and, uh, and breaks it down. But you can see the individual cells. And so we call it a cellular slime mold. And that's a crassiomycota. So mixomycota are the acellular slime molds. A crassiomycota are the cellular slime molds. The cellular slime molds keep their cell membranes and you can't see it here because each cell is microscopic, but if you look with the microscope, each cell would be visible together in this big group. And then the final fungus-like um, phylum is oomycota. Some people pronounce it oomycota. These are your water molds and mildew. Water mold, mildew. Sorry, I'm running out of room here. If you leave your shirt in your locker and it's wet, it'll get real smelly. It's because these mildew land, these spores will land on the shirt and multiply, and these microscopic little molds called mildew or water mold will be growing on the shirt tearing it down. If you ever look at a dead fish or a dead, in this case salamander in an aquarium, you see this white stuff all over it, that's a water mold and it's eating up the dead body of the organism. And those little filaments, it actually looks like a fungus and uh, we'll study fungi next chapter, but that's why we call these the fungus-like protists, fungus-like protists, um, because they break down dead stuff, and that's what fungi do. So in other words, you have your three groups here. Your animal-like protists are your protozoans, your plant-like protists are your algae, your fungus-like protists are your slime molds, water molds, and milk. And so that's what the essay is. Take these organisms, write something about a few of them, give some examples, an example or two of the animal-like, an example or two of the plant-like, an example or two of the fungi-like. You're going to have to sit down and make, uh, it's a good thing to make those flashcards to memorize these different phylum names. Because from this chapter there will be about seven or eight multiple choice questions of j just like that was on the quiz there over the phylum names of these things. Oh, we roll for the essays again? You will roll for the essays just like you normally do. Yes. Um, can I ask my question about the line now? Ask your question about the line. So we're not counting number 17, right? Because they're all dead? That's full box. You don't have to get my initials for it. You don't? Okay. You don't have to get my and initials And what about the other one? You said the other one. Two was and three, they're all dead also. If we found really? one. You don't have to get my initials for 17, two, or three. They're, we can't locate any of them. They've all died. What if we already have, I already have your initials. That's awesome. Too. Congratulations. Right. So, you're, we're just like, you're just no. 19, we're going to do 17. Don't worry about it. Oh my That's right, you'll do all the rest of them. All right, let's hit it off. I don't have to do this anymore. Okay, now, if you haven't finished, listen, listen closely. If you haven't finished the lab, you have today the rest of class. You also have today office hours. I'm going to have the AP bio kids in there too, office hours, looking at these same things. So, we have so it's going to be kind of crowded. No. If you are going to be in there not doing anything like some of y'all were yesterday, I want you to go to your alternate office hours teacher. Right. Rather than being there annoying the people that are trying to work. If you want to work and study these things, because on the test on Thursday, I'm going to have microscopes set up with some of these things under the microscopes and you're going to have to tell me what it is. It'll be multiple choice and I won't make it that difficult. I'll have something under there and I'll say, is this A an amoeba, B a euglena, 
see a, 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 a spirogyra, a D something else, and you'll have to pick the one it is. You'll have to have some basic knowledge and have to be able to locate these under the microscope. So you may want to practice looking at those things. Yes? When are we uh, picking the biologies tomorrow morning? Yeah, we'll pick them tomorrow because I never know who's going to be here. If I do it in advance and two people don't show up, then that, that doesn't seem to work very well. Okay? So buy Arcadie tomorrow, study hard, and try to finish the lab. The lab is worth two quizzes. So that would help you, especially if you did bad on this one. Fill us out.